Well, hello everybody, Fiber Spider here with Minecraft. And we are going to be doing a new season because they've been updating apparently with caves and cliffs. And so here's our world generating before us. Very exciting. Okay, first things first, let me move the map up because I never use maps, probably much to your chagrin, but no, I really don't. So, let's have a quick look-see around. Oh yeah, that's deep, okay. All right, so we need trees, we need sheep, we need food. Oh, <gasps> a village! Ooh, that's good, That 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 is good. Let's head over to the village. That is pretty cool for a spawn right off the bat. That is awesome, I like. So we will head over in that general direction. Uh, so basically, cliffs and caves, caves and cliffs, tomato, tomato. Um, what that amounts to, apparently, is they have incorporated some new elements while retaining some of the old ones. Apparently, there are a lot of really, really, really deep caves which is pretty cool. Um, new things to dig up, like copper and amethyst, my birthstone. Mm -hmm. Apparently a couple of new mobs, and I just thought it would be fun to give it a whirl. Now, yeah, I do need sheep. I need wool. However, can I steal somebody's bed? Ooh. We've got food. Food is good. Unknown map, unknown map, paper, paper, unknown map. Okay, let's just take the food for now. A little bit of looting, you know. Nope, nothing in the barrel, dear Eliza. Dear Eliza. So, going to see... Oh, and got an iron golem. That was another thing that intrigued me, that I had heard various things that there was to be copper golems, but apparently not. I did try offline to see, did it actually work? Basically, it involved a similar process to making an iron golem using a jack-o'-lantern, and it was a block of copper, and yes, you can make lightning rods now. So I thought the whole thing was rather interesting. So, yeah, I figure let's do a fresh season. Ah, there is a bed. Okay, that's cool. I am going to need wood, though. Definitely. So we could head over to that area. That's what I'm offhand thinking. I don't necessarily want to get settled in... Sheep! Multiple sheeps. Come here. Hey, 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 hey! Get back here. I must exploit you. Yeah, I didn't want to kill the sheep that are already at the village. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure, like I said, about, um... Hey, Cheeky! Not so sure about getting myself settled just yet at the village because... If I'm not mistaken, and I very well could be, if I'm near the village, well, the, the mobs are going to spawn near the village, and... I would like to give them a fighting chance. I don't want to have to go through the process of walling off the entire village this early. So right now, we are getting some resources together. Bit of wood. There we go. Oh, another one? Okay. Okay. So let us get our wood and then maybe get a couple of saplings out of this. 
gotta start from somewhere, right? Right. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention is that on top of there being more extensive caves, one kind of cave that I hope to find, it's called a lush cave. And there's new flora and new fauna, like oxalotls. Do you know what an oxalotl is? They are sort of like newts. They are disturbingly adorable in their own little way. And uh, so that's a, a new creature that apparently you can somewhat tame and breed if you can find them. But those apparently are only in the lush caves. And they are not easy to find, from what I understand. Because they are deep, deep, deep underground. And in order to find their location, you need to find an azalea tree. And apparently they are underneath the azalea trees, like straight down. So that is going to take a bit of doing. Let's see, any saplings? Nope. Couple of saplings? I, I like replanting. I do not want to deforest the area entirely. Okay, so let us get a bit more wood and then we will start mining, looking specifically for iron and coal. The copper is cool too. Oh yeah, that's another thing. We you know, will also cover this as we get to it. The copper oxidizes over time, so it goes from a lovely rusty copper color, yes. Oh, saplings. Cool. Where are you? I saw you up there. I did. Oh, there we are. Sapling! Yes, it goes from a lovely color, and it, it does turn green over time, believe it or not. Okay, now, we need rock. Okay, for some weird reason, whoa, Whoa. Okay. That's rather unsettling that <laughs> my controller has a mind of its own. Oh, this is going to be fun. Ooh, natural cave. Perfect. Very awesome. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why my controller is acting up that way, but this is this is not good. This is no bueno. All right, so unfortunately, that is too dark to see much of anything. Maybe we can find... Ah, what about over here? Uh, no, that appears to be a bit of a death trap. What I need is some coal. So if we can find some coal, we can make some torches. Where's the coal? Oh, well, there's copper and there's coal. Perfect. Okay. Groovy. Um, you know what? Let's make a workbench real quick. First, we need some planks. Boom. Crafting table. Okay. Oh, and yes, we are going to need some sticks. Okay, so we, we got to start from somewhere, right? Uh... What, do we need more sticks? Oh, derp de derp, I have to put down the crafting table first. <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so yes, let us start off by making some wooden pickaxes. It, it'll be a start, you know, gotta start from somewhere. Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay. First things first. 
Oh, and I need another sheep. Is there another another sheep nearby? I know, I'm all over the place. That's nothing new. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I mean, llamas are cool, but that doesn't help me much. Oh, no. Oh, crud buckets. Okay. Get some coal, at least that way I can see when I make up a little temporary hidey hole. And fortunately it seems that my controller is not acting up anymore. I don't know what was up with that. Oh no, we got mobs. And I have no weapons. Equally bad. Ooh. I do see a whole bunch of charcoal up that way. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. You know what? It might be a good idea to get out of here, out of this pit. Oh, dear. Okay, looks like I got it. Alright, let's go into a relatively safer area. Oh, no, 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 creeper. Oh, we've got multiples. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Running. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> oh, and a witch. Oh, God. No, 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 no. And a skelly. Scary skelly. Ah. Okay, quick, get in, get in, get in, get in. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, relatively safe at the moment. Okay, this is going to be a very, very temporary hidey hole for now. And we will just have to make do. And unfortunately, I can't sleep just yet because I only have two blocks of wool. However, what we can do is we can plop this down. There we are. And we've got quite a bit of cobblestone right off the bat. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I could make a campfire. That's nice. That way I can do some cooking without using up fuel. That's a bonus. Now, I don't know if you can place a campfire right next to a workstation. So let's just do it another block or two over. There we go. Light source! And we'll do a little bit of cooking. Awesome. Okay. Now, uh, let's get some extra spiffy tools going on. Maybe some stone pickaxes and so forth. Stone sword, definitely. That's always good. Let's do more than one. And I need sticks. We can do that. Oh, and I can do torches too. Yes, okay. Oh, food's done. I just don't want to burn myself in the fire. Okay. Ooh, uh, a door. Door would be good. Um, <laughs> very paranoid. Let's see. Door? Oh! Oh god! No, 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 no! No! Gee! Schmendrick! Ah! Haha! <laughs> ha 
Mine. Okay. Whew. Where was I? Okay, door. Yes, I need myself a door. Ah, there we go. Acacia door. Okay. Ah, <sighs> drama. There we go. Doors. Well, it's a start, you know. Okay, now where was I? I wanted to make some stone pickaxes. Really, dude? Don't give me one minute's rest? And also some stone shovels might not be a bad idea. Oh, stone axe. Yes, we could get some extra wood that way. Okay. Oh, and chest. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Perfect. Okay. So we can store our goodies. And chests are actually, oh, that's a little too close. Yeah, chests cannot be burned, from what I understand. They are inflammable. Okay, so let's maneuver things out just a little bit. There we go. There we are. Ta-da! Okay, and storing the goodies. Okay, various things that we really do not need more of at said moment. Okay, I think we are hunky dories. And it's still nighttime. Crud buckets. Okay. Well, let's have a quick munch munch. Oh, whoa. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of the other. Now, mark our location, yes. Ah, ah, ah. String is good. Do a little mob killing here. Thank you. As long as there are no creepers. Creepers and skellies are the bane of my existence. Indeed. Also, um... Uh-oh, like I said, I just heard one. Hi! I mean, you're... You're gonna die anyway in just a moment with the sun coming up. Uh, okay. Yeah, what I wanted to do was put a torch right up here to mark that this is the hill where I have my little makeshift base at the moment. Okay, so we will now be relatively safe from mobs. Well, that is to say, safe! Ish. Store some more goodies that I really can't use at the moment. Okay, rock on. Now, let us resume what we were doing. Now, of course, this is going to take quite some time to get her- Oh! Sheep! Sheep! 
Wait for me. I'll be right there. It is going to take us quite some time to get ourselves established fully, but we shall get there. Ooh. That's very lush over there. We'll have to check that out. Hi. Okay, so now, in theory, I have enough for a bed. That's awesome. Now, I think it was over there that I was digging before. However, I'm interested in checking out that very lush green area. So, let us go. Always have to investigate. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm. Let's have a look see down over here. Looks like a bit of a grotto, if you will. That's neat. Just don't want to fall to my death. Not yet, that would be a little premature. Even for me. Probably clay in here. Now, does that go all the way through? Oh, it does go all the way through. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Okay, so there's copper, some coal. Let's go go for the coal first and foremost. Uh, slight problem. There's no way up. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. However, ooh, we could do this. Aha! Okay. Uh, hmm. We got this. Yeah, one thing that I always invariably run out of is coal. So if I see it, I'm gonna go for it, especially early game. There we go. Also, from what I understand, they did improve things somewhat regarding the light radius, that you don't need to spam your torches quite so much in order to prevent mobs from spawning. Now, I don't know how true that is, but perhaps we will find out more over time. Now, how, how deep does that go? Oh my. Yeah, with my luck, there won't be another outlet from that. So let's continue going on this way. Aha! Aha ha ha! Thank you! Get some copper going. Yeah, the other thing is, check out the amount of copper that I had. I only really hit a couple of blocks. I already have 34! Apparently, when you hit the copper, you get a lot more than just the one-for-one one ratio, which I think is absolutely awesome and very much appreciated. Especially if you want to use this as a building material. Okay, okay. Now... Let us see. Where is home? Also, Chicky, come here, Chicky baby. Hello. Yeah, home is right over there. Cool. Okay, and you know we'll get some pork chops going on here. Yeah, this this is not going to be. A vegan season. No, I'm sorry. This is this is not going to be vegan. Uh, you know, also... Since we still have a little bit of daylight, let's get just a couple more logs going here. Just 
Just chop down some woo. Okay. <laughs> chop down some more trees. Get that underway. Okay. There we go. I think, yeah, that's it for that one. All right. Okay, I'm a little low, so let's boost e boost. Okay, so as I was saying before, um, yeah, this this is very much early days, and I figure that over time, I would love to work on some really awesome structures different kinds of automatic farms, etc, etc. Now, granted, you know, um, in previous videos, like for the main season that I did before, I didn't spend that much time really worrying about the aesthetics of the buildings. I would like to change that. I would like to make nicer looking buildings. Oh, whoa and so forth. I would like to do that. You know, put a little bit more time and effort in with how the buildings look. Right now, it's all about function and not dying. That's kind of important to me. Okay. Still hungies. There we go. And we still have a little bit of daylight, so we might as well make the most of it. Another thing that I noticed when I was playing off camera is that there were a lot more bees that had generated within the world, which I thought was pretty awesome, considering how necessary they are in some ways, especially if I'm going to be using a lot of copper. What you can do is you can use the wax from the bees, and you can wax the bricks of copper so that they don't oxidize, if that's what you want to do. I think that that's a really cool feature. They really did think, oh, and you can make candles. Yeah, that's another really awesome thing. Uh, they do produce light, and also they are rather pretty to look at in a decorative way. Although, no, we haven't seen any bees just yet. But it's early still. Okey dokes. So, figure I can go home, regroup. Oh, and I can make a bed now, so as soon as it's night, I can actually go to sleep, which is pretty sweet. Okay, let's do a little bit of cooking. Can I not cook? Oh wait, is it already cooked? <laughs> yep, that, that would be why. Okay, here we go. There, perfect. Okay, now uh, let us make a bed. Oh, right, I need wooden planks. There we go bed. Ta-da! Perfect. Okay. Mine this out just a little bit more and raise the ceiling so that I don't bop my noggin.
And of course, if you guys ever have any suggestions as to what you would like to see me do in this season, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions as to what you might like to see. Now, did I get everything? Three and the one. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, let's cook up this raw mutton here. Okay. And, oh, yes, place the bed right there. Perfect! Okay. Little night light. There we go. And I don't think I need quite everything that I have on hand at the moment. So... Oh, you know what we could do? We could make a furnace. That we could. And it appears my mutton is ready. Very nice. Just plop you right on top there. And we will start... Putting in our copper. Ah, uh, thing is, I don't want to use up all of my coal. So you know what? Here's what I'll do first. Let's make some more torches. Actually, here's here's what I'm gonna do. Yes, utilize that. Do sticks. Torches. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking is... You know what? What I might do is I might just utilize the, the wood that I have for now. At least some of it. Not all of it. There we go. Yep. Oh, it's officially nighttime. Okay, let's go to sleep. There we go. Yeah, and we've got some copper ingots. Very cool. Okay, now, I don't need them on hand at the moment. Nor that. You know what, Let, let's do a little reforestation here while we're out and about. There we go. Okay, let's head out. And hopefully not- oh! Hi! Thank you. Yeah, we'll do a little reforestation here. And a little bit more exploring, because yes, if I can find bees, that would be really, really awesome. Where are you coming from? Hi. Okay, it's not like there's a cave over there or anything. Hmm. At any rate. Okay. Plant you. And plant you. And just, I guess, head off this way for now. See if we can find something of interest. Yeah, if I can find bees, that would be awesome. If I could find... more sheep, okay. Now, what is that... Is that a cave system or something? That, that black right there, center screen, I don't know. Plenty of sheep. You know what, I got an idea. See if I can get enough wool so that I can do yet another bed if needs be. Because you never know when you have to go to bed. Sometimes you can't get back to your original... Ah! <gasps> Lots of sheep! Hello? Thank you. Alright, so three is enough. I don't want to be entirely greedy. Ooh! 
Hello, natural cave system, and a skelly, yay. Oh, joy. Okay, well. Let's take a look-see around, shall we? Okay, no. How about back this way? Uh... No, surprisingly. Hm. Okay, oh, oh, hello. Missed you. There we are. And nothing else. Alright, well, let's just keep going. So where was I? Yeah, there was that cavey looking thing there. And then that, I don't know if that's just a, a natural outcropping or what, but we can take a look. Ow. Woo. Looks like some sort of underwater cave type thingy. Now, sugar cane, that is going to be very helpful. So since I see it, let's let's go for it. Oh, I wish I could breathe underwater. All those cave systems. It's so exciting. Okay, now I don't want to be greedy. Good to leave some around, just in case if I die, etc., etc. Oh, oh, oh. You should stay where you are, dude. Seriously. Alright. Swimmy swim. Swimmy swim. Let's see what we got over here. Anything of interest. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. See, how much did that get me? That got me two, right off the bat. That's pretty cool, really. And nothing behind. Okay, so we'll... Oh. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. I hear a Zomzom -zom having a hard time over there, wherever he is. He can enjoy himself. There we go. Very, very hilly. Oh, and there's another cavey type system down over there. And that appears to be like another cavey system. There's a lot of very hilly terrain going on over here. I kind of prefer the planes, quite frankly. Oh, wait, are you a zombie villager? Yes, you are. I'm sorry. That's kind of sad. Alright, let's get some light on the subject. Ow, here. Oh, we got a whole bunch. Oh dear. Dudes, 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 dudes. Nope, nope, nope. You're you're gonna have a hard time out here. No. Oh, I feel bad. I I do. I feel. Oh God. I don't. I no. See what I wanted to do actually is keep them inside because if I could get, you know, potions and so forth and cure them, that would have been able to save them and utilize them, but no, they had other ideas. 
I didn't have any blocks on hand. Oh well. That's okay. So. There isn't by any chance some sort of spawner or something of them down here, is there? No? They were just hanging out? Weird. Ooh. Ooh. Like I said, caves, caves everywhere. However, since we're here, we can at least make use of what we have found here. Okay, and about how much more daylight do I actually have? Good question. I don't think that much, so... Let us head back... Way. Check out this KV system over here real quick. See if there's anything going on. Ooh, could be. Ah, glow lichen. That you have to use shears to take down, otherwise you end up destroying it. This is promising. This is cool. Make some sort of a circuit. Whoa, whoa. Let me up. Thank you. Ooh. 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 We have found it, folks. We have found a massive cave. Now, this this is not a uh, a lush cave, but oh my good gosh, we have hit the jackpot. Yes, we have. Okay, now getting down there without killing ourselves—that's gonna be the trick. Yeah. Crouching, yes. Yeah, see, getting all the way down there, I mean, it, it's almost like its own version of the nether, if you will, because it just, look how far down that goes. This is insanity. Oh, man. However, we have found our first very, very, very significant cave system. That's pretty darn cool. Now, yeah, as far as actually getting down there in one piece, well, that's going to be fun. Hmm. You know, like building stairs and so forth, you know, can be a little, 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 little tricky. Okay. Yeah, also a little bit paranoid. I don't want something to come from me, you know, from behind, either. Thank you. No. Okay, I mean, it looks like I can sort of build my way down a little bit like that, but this is going to take a bit of doing. And I'm going to stay in crouchy mode, because that's the last thing I need is to, uh, fall to my death this early on. Thanks. So, yeah, we can dig these without any issue. Seemingly. Although I don't know if that's the last level, so I'm going to have to uh, check that out. Okay, well, you know what? I think that we might wrap up today's episode here, episode one of season two. Oh, man. 
Because like, even if I get down there, I don't know where it's going to lead. But yeah, like I said, this is sort of like another nether in and of itself. I am excited. I hope you guys are too, because the cave systems were not anything like this previously. So I'm very much looking forward to it. I just wish I had a better line of sight. Oh, man. All right. So listen, guys, as always, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. And yes, if you have any suggestions, hints, etc. Oh, I just noticed something. I know that they're, they're in the game. They're not called stalagmites, but those are stalagmites, those pointy rocks down there. And yes, if you fall on them, you get hurt. <laughs> I think it's called dripstone cave uh, rocks. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so listen, guys, again, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying. Hit that like button. Give me suggestions of what you want to see in this season, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, bye for now, and have a great day.